Okay, well, what we're gonna do next, we did the outside, we turned two diameters. The next cycle we wanna go over that people ask a lot of questions about, when you go into cycle, we're, doing, we're gonna do an OD groove. So in our selections up here on the top, we got turning, residual machining, turn grooving. We got turn grooving outer rough. Or we have turn grooving outer rough and finish. That's the one we're gonna select today. We'll select that. And again, it's just fill in the blanks. The first thing it asks about is the roughing type. There's two types. There's a center cutting where it starts in the middle of the groove and then moves to the outside, but it'll go all the way to depth going down. Or if it's a real deep groove, there's a layer where it'll go down and layer it out, like almost like turning a groove. But what we're doing today, it's outer and center. It'll ask us for side finish amount, so you put a value in there. We'll put two thousandths and two thousandths. A rough feed rate, 0 0.005, that's pretty typical. The finish feed rate is 0 0.3, 0 0.003. You can either have pecking, and the pecking, what it is, it's for a chip break. It'll go down so far back out. It's very nice if you're going deep. We'll say nothing. And then you have two tabs up here. We'll go to detail. This is the clearance above the part. Again, as I said before, programming 101, it's 100 thousandths. The dwell, I always put zero there. I don't know why you'd want to dwell. This is the approach motion. The cut-in position, this is something that's very specific to FANUC for a groove cycle. Nobody else offers this. It gives you the choice of where it's going to end when it does a groove, whether in the middle or the side. I like to end in the corner. And then it just asks an escape amount to back off, 0 0.005. So that's all the details that we need. You insert that. Once you do that, then it comes up and says, okay, what's the geometry of the groove you want to do? We select that, calls it's outer groove normal. It says, okay, which side of the, the groove are we going to define our geometry from? The front side or the back side? All the prints I've ever seen I always define from the front side, so we're going to say that. Then it says a base point in X, it's one inch. Base point in Z is minus 0.5. The depth, we'll say 0.120, an eighth of an inch. The width, we're gonna say 0.150. What's great about this, you can define all the different corners. So on the top corner, we're gonna say a 30 thousandths uh, chamfer. Then down in the bottom, we're gonna say nothing because we want it to be a sharp corner. Nothing there. Then on the top, again, a chamfer of 30 thousandths. Then we press insert. And then if you would have multiple grooves, if you had five of them in a row, you could tell it to do that. We're not gonna do that, but you have that capability. Then you insert that. That's all you need to do a groove. It's very simple, two lines of code. If you have any questions about the material we covered today, email us at quicktips at fanicamerica.com.